Hey everyone, I wanted to um, do a couple recordings. So I know I've been uh, streaming with Kathy. I've you know, been recuperating from some surgeries, doing better. I should start streaming again next week on my channel. Kathy Berg and I alternate channels, but we both uh, actually, you know, are together on each other's channels every Tuesday at eight at 10 a.m. Eastern. So I want to show you a couple new things I picked up while well, new to me, of course. Um, and then I'm going to show you some happy mail I got from Sophia. So I'm in my, you know, spring mode. I'm all excited. You know, it's like, oh, it's spring. Um, so I went and ordered this from scrapbook.com. They had a really good price on this. Um, I ordered some other um, stamps from um, Stamp Stampers Anonymous I'm waiting for. Anyway, they had a great price on this one. This is on her older stamps, but this just resonated with me. I love the I am open. I'm capable. I'm ready. I think I love that. And I love the flower and I just had to get this. And then um, the other thing I picked up, this goes along with Tim Holt's new flower stamp set, which I did order. Do you see the, I'm going to hold this up. Do you see the flowers with the little piece of washi tape holding them down? That's exactly what his new stamps are. <laughs> it's like, okay. So these, this will go beautifully with it. These are called The Good Life, and it's by, I'm trying to read, I don't know, I can't read her name. Okay, it's called The Good Life. So, this, this artist, and I got two from her. Now, look at this one. Again, it, it has a vintage vibe, some colors, some flowers. A rusty color. This would be really cute um, for all your some film strip or any kind of vintage. You could use well, don't have to just be summer either. I just thought this is a nice neutral washi tape. You could use this on a lot of things. So that was my scrapbook.com order. And the other thing I did is Nicole Watson Art. She's here on YouTube. She has new stencils by Stencil Girl. She has uh, tons of videos, um, art journaling processes, and she has an Etsy, which I found out from my friend Kathy. And one of the things that I purchased from her is she had packs of old photos. So I had seen some uh, cool art that someone had done on Instagram who was were altering the photos in a really cool way that I love to try. So I purchased this from her on Etsy. And then someone in my chat mentioned asked me if I had these yet, which I did not. And then I was um I was watching uh Kia P for Art Foamies. Um I'm one of her patrons and she um, pulled these out and saying how much she liked them and was showing the difference and so on and so forth. So I ended up purchasing them. Um, I, I mean, I have Posca's. I also have a lot of other brands and I love just trying out a new brand, right? So these are Sharpie paint markers. This is the smaller tip. This is the bigger tip. So just so I have two. First, I thought I duplicated and I'm like, duh. One small, one big. And they're, they're, she had black and white pen packs, which I did not see right now on Amazon. So that's where I got these. So excited to try these out. And um, my friend Sophia, she has, um, she's on Instagram. She comes in their channel. She's super talented. I think she now has some uh, stencils with uh, PM Artist Studio or stamps. No, I mean, it was stamps with PM Artist Studio. And she um, she lives in London. So she sent these all the way to the United States, which was really nice. And she wrote me a really sweet card. And I'm so grateful that she took the time to uh, to to make these, uh, share these with me in the time she spent creating them. And it's very thoughtful 
how she put this together. It was very thoughtful. And so I just wanted to share my Happy Meal with you. And down below, I will link um, Sophia's uh, Instagram. She does have a YouTube, but she is in my Facebook group. If you join my Facebook group, which is linked below, and she does little short videos and shows, you know, all the things she's working on, you know, like carve, which she was doing carve December and everything. So, and I will put her Instagram down below. And so she does have that. So these are some of her mark making papers she shared. Aren't these good? They're so good. So I love these. These are, she carved stamps. She stamped them out on tissue paper. Seriously. You should see, go to her Instagram and look at her carb stamps. Oh my gosh. Look at this. She did all this by hand. This is pattern paper she did by hand and shared with me. Isn't this good? It's so good. And this was one of her stamps she carved. And then she stamped in two colors and said, this. She's so talented. Okay, so I'll show you the rest. And super fun and super nice. Just all the above, right? So I think I have it how she sent it to me. But I may have mixed it up a little bit. Um, she sent me this cool tag. And look at the layers and depth in this. It is stunning. With recycled papers back here. Some die cuts. Some sprays and stains and stamps on the background. You can see this is a homemade tag. It's just so pretty. Here's one of the other tags she sent me. But look how she recycled this from a, I don't even know what this is from. I was trying to read it. I don't know if this is vintage or not, or not vintage. I think this fun she called the tag salvage because this came off of a product of some sort. But yeah. Uh, just and then uh, you can see the Asian paper behind it. I mean, just so cool. She sent me some napkins. Love the mushrooms going in with uh, the nature poetry I have 40 day market from last year. That will go with it. This I love because this looks like folk art. I love folk art, I love many things. <laughs> If you watch my channel, you know, I love everything, uh, everything art, uh, but I do love folk art. I have a, a, I just do. Um, here's the black and white. So she said things that she thought I could use that she has seen me play with. And I thought that was, a, and of course, Sunflower Journal, right? My binders from last year. You can find it in my playlist. The apples flowers and i think I don't, I don't know is this bought or did she make it i'm not sure if this is bought or she made it because again she's really tricky that way isn't that this is pretty this blue and this is like a city grid and this looks very vintage you know like a vintage style i think this is really cool it's so cool to get things from other people to play with, you know, whether it's when they share their, their things with you and you can, it's just fun with other people's stuff, right? And you get to play with it. I have something about it. Uh, this is a piece of her art. Seriously. She put it in a mat. All I have to do is pop this baby into a frame. She sent me this. So I'm going to get a frame for it. And I wish she would have signed it. And she should have signed this. And I'm going to hang this up. And I wish she would sign it. This is her art. So good. Okay, and I'll show you this. This is, she says the handle very, uh, it's very delicate. And I saw that after I already opened this and kind of looked through it. But I'm going to open this up real quick and show you. So she knows I like to do junk journaling. I love everything. If you watch my channel, I love everything. <laughs> everything. So you will never see me doing the same thing because I love everything. So she made some of these. Kathy and I did this. This is part of like a fodder school had these where you may put your own art on these cute little key things. 
And I love that she did that. And again, with all the painting and the doodles, love these. And this is again, she made, this is probably her stamps, more than likely. And she made so many, I can't remember them all. I'm, I just, just to let you know, FYI, they are on my Facebook uh, group. She sent some house buildings. She knows I love buildings and houses. Love buildings, love houses. Love, love, love them. So she sent those. And look how cute. And so she sent me little envelopes to fit all these things on. So cute. These look like, these are almost like recycled. Um, new class amount. Like these, they seem like recycled, like old. And then these was, this is her stamp. That she did. One of her stamps she made. Look at the feathers she sent me. She knows I love 70s stuff. Uh, so she sent me that for my 70s album. Sent some library cards to play with. Junk journaling, right? And these look kind of vintagey. So, yeah. And then this is the delicate one. I'm not sure what this is. And I'm going to ask her when I see her in chat. I don't know exactly what this is. It's very delicate and it's beautiful. I'm going to kind of tilt it up so you can kind of see like it's it's paper thin. I don't know. It has an Asian kind of flair. I, I don't know what this is. It's very, very pretty. I'm going to set this aside. I'll put things away later. So, you know, I won't be having to watch too many videos here. Okay, so then she sent me this. Look at all these goodies. Seriously, I cannot believe she sent all this from the UK. So nice. So thoughtful. Um, sent me some washi. This is farm washi. And uh, I love farm. Anything farm. So she knows me well. Sent me some simple stories. Rusty colored washi because I love rusty stuff too. Uh, you'll hear me say that over and over how much I love everything. So she sent me the color diffusing paper. I have maybe this is a UK thing. I have never heard of this or seen this. Now I have a lot of specialty papers. Kathy and I like to do is purchase those. I've never heard of this kind of paper. So I'm excited to try this out. So she sent me some color diffusing paper and she said it works best with inks. Uh, she included the sheets and she said it, uh, it's made with sketching inks and the inks. You can use water reactive pens, zigs, Tombos, and just add water and those work well with it too. And then she sent me some of the things that she made with the color diffusing paper. Isn't this cool? I've never heard of color diffusing paper. So, again, that might have to go down in my list of must-haves, huh? I love stuff like this. Again, I'm going to open this pack up. This is the last pack of the Happy Mail here that she sent me. This is one of her stamps she made into a card. Cool, right? And um, she said she left it blank. So in case I want to forward it to someone else. But um, she thanked us for being so kind and generous uh, with our support. We always support our fellow artists and friends. Everyone has, just does incredible art. And I appreciate all kinds of art and everyone's in a different place and does different things and we need to support one another and um so anyway she says she appreciates it and she loves the community that she's a part of in my facebook group and that means a lot to me because i felt like i wanted to start it but i was you know wasn't sure about it and i'm so glad i did let's scoot this around so it's a little bit flatter I'm not sure what this is that she sent me, but she she looks like she painted and collaged on it. I'm not sure what this is. I'll have to ask her. But it's cool, right? I love that. 
Okay, so she knows I love houses. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with this. But I have several house journals. This could go in my house journal. Who knows? Or maybe it would go in my binder with the, this part up, with the green. I might put this in my new binder. Like I just showed, I did a video just before. And uh, I'll have both on my channel. Look at that. I might just put this on my binder. How sweet is this? Right? It fits perfectly. So that might end up I go in my binder. Okay. Let me set this aside. Okay, so here's that. Love this. She sent me some vintage um, papers to play with for junk journaling. She knows I love junk journaling as well. You're going to keep me hearing me say that over and over because it's just, oh, I am. I love everything. Uh, this, she said, was a from a 1983 cookbook, but it was a cookbook from originally from 1747. How cool is that? So she again sent me some maps. So she sent me some vintage papers to play with. And then she sent me some of her jelly prints. Her and her kids, her sons, have been jelly, jelly printing. And they did it they, each year. And they did some jelly prints this year. Her sons, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Posted those in my Facebook group. They were so good. And just I can put this here and see it. And she shared, shared these with me. Gotta love, you know, these because we use these for our backgrounds, right? The more vintage just came from a vintage book. Oh, this should go in my binder. Both of these, right? This can go in my binder. Look at this. Yeah, this is going in my summer binder. And here's some more vintage papers. And this is a map. Ooh, I love this. I'm going to put this. It'll be, she knows. This would be great in my graffiti journal. She said she tried to send us things that she knows we would use. And this is from London, from her telephone book. And then she sent me some vintage wrapping papers. How cool are these? Again, we use everything, right? Everything but the kitchen sink. And this came from a book. And this came from a book. But, the, you know, this is what, you know, some of the ledgers look like on the inside. And this, I think, is also wrapping paper. But look. It's houses. House wrapping paper. So, again, I definitely go in my house book for sure. I have a couple of house journals, too. And then she sent this uh, from a book. Again, this could go in your garden journal, summer journal, right? And then a postcard. A this is they look new, but rep replicas. Look again, summer journal. Cut some, uh, punch some holes, and I'll put this in my binder. And then actually, I'll probably put these two back to back and glue them, and I'm gonna use these in my summer journal. She knows me well. And let's see what these goodies are. She sent. These are some really cute stickers. Look. Be kind. I don't know if these were her stamps or not. I she, I can't remember. But either way, I love these. And I have a t-shirt that says be kind. And she doesn't know that. But I do have a t-shirt that says be kind. I think I got a Target. Um, coordinating pieces from a man, a Mandela pattern game board. So there is some sort of game board with that she had where you put it together to make a Mandela. And she shared that. How fun is that? So I'll we'll use that somewhere that will be used. Or you can make a mini journal and these could be your covers. Just make a spine. So many possibilities. Oh, cute. And two, these little seed, excuse me, these little seed packets. How cute are these? Love them. These are adorable. And she sent me some simple stories. Fall washi. She knows I was organizing. I have so many 
fall boxes downstairs and Christmas and fall. OMG. I love fall. And when I was organizing, yeah, I have so many fall things. I love fall and I love spring. I mean, I appreciate all the seasons. We have changing seasons here and I do appreciate the changing seasons. It's just nice. It really is. She sent me two ATCs and she signed these. That's good. Really pretty. Look at her work. She does, she shares classes that she takes. She takes a lot, finds a lot of free classes. She always shares these in the Facebook group. She was taking some abstract classes and she's really good about sharing um, where, you know, different classes and things that are free. I try to share that as well in the group with everybody. So everyone has an opportunity. And I think, I think that's it. So I do want to, I will put her um, Instagram down below. And um, you join my Facebook group. You can see some of the stuff she's made. Come hang out with us on Tuesdays. You can chat with her and many other wonderful people that uh, are my friends and we love to share art we love to laugh and have fun and be silly together and i'm finally done with my surgeries for a while i won't have another foot surgery for a while so i will be able to stream again and uh with kathy and I'm looking forward to that and i'm feeling better and i'm very thankful for that and you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.